Hello and welcome back everyone to the powder toy and I know what you're thinking why is there video games on my programming channel um, That's a good question who knows today We're going to go ahead and blow things up because it's been a while since we've just had some mindless destruction And more specifically I want to play around with Nehonium and Thorium and create the ultimate of destructive force um, And to do that we're gonna have a few steps First off, I'm gonna use a wax case. Well, this is gonna be our first bomb design here. Uh, we're gonna use a wax. Oh, also FBI. This is a game, by the way. I I have to say that we're gonna use a wax casing, and we're going to go ahead and keep it paused. We're going to have a layer of nehonium. Then we're going to have another wax casing. I know this is actually uh actually insane. So let's talk about how each of the elements here work. And these are my modded elements that you guys actually have access to. I I'm still working on the next version of the mod. Don't kill me, I've been busy with things. Um, so we have Nehonium, which is going to get super, 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 super hot. Um, quite immediately, actually. Uh, and then we're going to have... Next... I'm actually going to cool it down um, for legal reasons if we don't start it cold we're going to have a lot of problems so we're gonna start it lit, lit yeah it'll heat up pretty pretty quickly um but this gives us a little bit of time for the rest of the reaction to go off so this part of the bob is going to be extremely cold uh, to start then we're going to have deuterium you're probably kind of confused on this. Actually, no, I have a better idea. We're gonna have thorium. Oh, this is a great idea. All right, we're gonna have thorium. Thorium heats up when uh, it is hit by neutrons. So then we're going to make a breeder inside of it. And what that's gonna do is it's going to breeder. I should probably use different words nowadays. Ugh. Uh, it's, it's fine, we're going to fill it with deuterium, and this deuterium is going to get a really high life value. Uh, set, life, do, 100. So what's gonna happen is this deuterium, oh, okay, we'll do 1,000 then, fine. You wanna play your way? We'll play it your way. So this deuterium is going to, uh, we'll go to normal display so we can actually see what's going on. Deuterium is going to create a ton of neutrons, which are then going to hit the thorium, causing the thorium to heat up extremely, which is going to cause the nehonium to th heat up extremely. There's going to be a ton of pressure. It's going to shoot everything out, and it should just destroy literally everything. End of the world scenario right here. This this is, uh, we're going to copy it. Let's see. One frame. Yep. So one frame has passed, uh, and the thorium is already at thousands of degrees. So that's a good start. Um, literal, just... 4,000, 7,000 degrees, things are turning into plasma, the nehonium is starting to wake up, we have this massive pressure wave as well, which we can see coming out here, and we have these little pieces of nehonium which are being flung out, and if you know anything about nehonium, just one particle of nehonium can do some absolutely insane damage. It is so hot, they are being flung into the core of the earth. They aren't even being slowed down by anything. They're just, they're just going straight through. Look! Look at the shock wave on that! Oh, beautiful! A plasma shock wave going out from the thorium. Neutrons are now hitting everything. Woo! That was a saucy initial explosion, but it's not over yet because we have embedded a ton of Nehonium into everything in the area. So even though the initial explosion is done, that highly, highly, super radioactive material is going to continue emitting heat and it's not going to stop. As you can see, the planet is slowly heating up melting the nehonium is now all concentrated in the center and the core of the planet is going to start having some real problems as it slowly collapses in on itself look at it go oh man the planet is just falling falling into its own core it's like the creation of a black hole but slightly less dramatic 
And as you can see, the, the temperatures are just getting insane. The moon is at 9,000 degrees. Uh, let's just delete the core of the moon. Let it, let it do a little bit of a fall onto the Earth. Wow. How dramatic. Everything is turned to lava. No, nothing, nothing survived. The end. Wow, I actually made a good bomb for once, guys. I'm getting better at this. All right, let's go ahead to my other favorite testing uh, ground for explosives, which is going to be the one, the only, the classic, uh, Bunker City, if we can find it. Bunker City? Bunker, 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 bunker. Wait, what? It's not gone, is it? Wait, what the heck? Am I blind? Oh, it's right here. I, I don't know how I looked over it so many times. All right, Nahonium Bomb. This is actually quite small for a bomb as well. Um, it's pretty contained. So we get those first few frames. We get the explosion that sends the Nahonium everywhere. We get the plasma ball that flies out and sets things on fire, does a bit of damage, breaks windows. Uh, but overall, the most damaging part is going to be the Nahonium, which has been sprayed everywhere. Honestly, the rest of it just acts as a means to heat up the Nihonium and um, send it out, get a pressure wave going. Uh, but after that, you can see them, the little the little orange buggers going through the pipes. Look, look at it. Look at it go. There's no stopping it once it starts. I mean, we, we have extreme like explosions and stuff going on in the background as well. Um, Things are just catching on fire and melting. It only takes one particle of Nihonium to give you a bad day. I'm actually going to restart this because a ton of our material got thrown out of the map. So what we're going to do is we're going to set the map to edge mode solid so that we can hold everything in. And we're just going to delete some of the stuff in the air that's around the area. And now let's see what happens. Because now we're not wasting anything. All of our particles are getting contained. And you can already see there's a much more vibrant, plasma-filled, blue, glowing explosion there. As the temperatures are just hitting insane proportions. Uh, we have plasma up, just stuck to the ceiling. That's thousands of degrees. Damn. As time passes, we can see that, once again, things are falling down, going through the ground, breaking through the buildings, and stacking up. Now, ambient heat isn't on. Ambient heat would make this a little bit more interesting, but, oh, there goes a building due to the Nihonium. Heated up a bit too much, and now the entire building's going down and collapsing. The Nihonium's going down to the very bottom, where it's going to begin to breach the bunker. Oh, we can already see right here, we, we definitely have some, some activity going on here. We got a few particles of it right here. Now, it will disappear and turn into neutrons if there's pressure uh, in space for it. So, there is the chance that it will run out uh, because its half-life is quite, quite low. But it doesn't look like it's going to be enough to prevent it from breaking into the bunker, which is getting very, very close. Oh, here it goes. This steel is not going to be able to hold up for long. I'm going to give it another, like, ten seconds before there's a breach. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Zero? Question mark? Okay, it made it a little bit longer than I expected. Negative one. Negative two. Negative three. Negative four. <laughs> Negative five. Negative six. Negative seven. Oh, there we go. We have our first particle broke there. Negative eight. Negative nine. Negative ten. So I was off by like double. How how disappointing. I can't even count right. What am I doing with my life? Oh, there it goes! And game over. Because that is Nahonium, I believe. It is, which means it's only going to get hotter. 
And here comes more of it as the massive ball of... Actually, I'm going to make a quick point here. This hospital survived. The hospital did not die, which is quite impressive. Um, although the bunker is going to be breached and destroyed. That's because Nahonium has a tendency to go down, as you can see as it leaks out right now. It likes to go down, down, down. It's extremely heavy. Actually, that may have just saved the bunker because I think the Nahonia may have just left everything else behind. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, maybe not because it's just gonna melt everything from below now. Oh boy. But yeah, the, the hospital survived. Isn't that wacky? Something I didn't expect to happen. It only takes a little bit, a little tiny bit, and there it goes, just causing massive destruction. Woo! Alright, let's turn on ambient heat and see what happens. This could just cause everything to cool down and just undo everything. And it looks like that's what's gonna happen. It is, uh, it is preventing the Nihonium from doing damage. How unfortunate. Temperatures are just dropping. Crazy. And uh, even though the hospital is technically at 100 degrees, it still survived better than I'd expected. Very interesting. I mean, a city like this, um, I believe that this, even if we put it way in the corner, uh, it is an instant, yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> um, the the city is just, I mean, the closest to the blast part gets absolutely wiped out. Like, there is no surviving that. And then uh, what's going to happen is that all of that material that fell into the ground is melting the ground under the buildings. And that secondary effect is going to be even more damaging than the first. Because you can see on the bottom, the Nihonium is just at the bottom of the world. And it is going to slowly just melt everything. There's there's no surviving it. Aw, oh, jeez. <laughs> Very nice. I am actually kind of curious what would happen if I got the Mega Dam. Um... Let's see, my own. Let's get the Mega Dam 1.5. <laughs> oh, am I not logged in on here? No, I am logged in on here. Oh, no, I have to do that. Uh, the Ultra Dam. Ultra Dam 1.5 V2. Here it is. I'm just kind of curious if I were to put a bomb into the dam. A Nihonium bomb. I mean, I'm assuming this will just end it immediately, but let's see what happens. Yeah, we have an initial blast uh, where we're getting a lot of steam, heat, and material coming through. But you'll notice that the water's actually done a really good job of picking up uh, the heat. And uh, it's it's not like end of the world quite yet. Uh, we do have the Nihonium that has to be dealt with though, which has fallen into this area. Actually, onto the cooling plate. How, how convenient. Um, but it looks like everything under the dam water supply has been melted. And it looks like the cooling system is currently being well, but it's still holding the water back. Kind of. Amogus. Uh, it's, oh, and there's a massive steam column being shot out. Ooh. So the entire thing is kind of melting apart at this point. Um... Could it be saved? I mean, the dam itself has taken relatively little damage. It's more of the environment around it. So if I uh, just very carefully... Uh-oh, it looks like the uh, reactor just overheated. Probably due to the fact that the uh, cooling systems have all been destroyed and everything is on fire. Um, oh, shoot. <laughs> Come on. 
Oh man, that Nahonium is really hot stuff. It's uh, it's doing some real damage. Let's try this again with it on top. Whoosh! Ooh, yeah. The the Nahonium that got into like the turbines and stuff is just going to be a real issue. And the same thing is going to happen. The bottom is just going to give out. Ah. What if it happened over here? Would it be able to break through the dam? We got that plasma wave that hits first. Ooh, and it hits with some massive temperature. The Nihonium is building up at different points in the dam. It is breaking through, overheating. But the question now is, will the dam survive the results of this? I mean, it didn't take the dam out. Uh, that is, that is the first thing we should notice, is that the dam has not been destroyed. I'm just gonna cool this down. Over here, just to get my FPS back. Oh, so we have a good amount of Nihonium just under here. Oop. Um, the dam is still functioning! I mean, it's a, there's a chunk of Nihonium here, but it looks like it's actually being cooled down enough by the water running through the dam. Uh, which is quite lucky, may I add. I mean, this is all going to melt again. That's the only issue. Because of all the Nihonium down here, but I can just do a quick little boop. No longer exists. Interesting. Honestly, I'd expected the dam to do far worse. Uh, I thought that getting impacted by that. I'm actually curious now if I go into the stamps we have. Um, oh, do we not have many stamps in this one? No, we don't. Interesting. Well, I am pleasantly surprised by how that performed. What about against a... Uh, uh, Vengeance. Both Vengeance class ships. The VSS Vengeance and the other Vengeance. Yeah, you two want to fight? Well, that's cool, but I'm gonna hit both of you. Thanks. Alright, let's see if the Nihonium Bomb is able to do measurable amounts of damage to either. Oh, that's certainly measurable, alright. Although, the security system did actually go off in the uh, VSS Vengeance, putting shielding over the ship and protecting uh, a large portion of it, whereas the other Vengeance is not faring well at all. Um, damn. That actually makes me ask the question, what happens if we put just, uh, where's the, okay, um, we won't do my own, we'll do, uh, Devastator. That's the one, right? Yeah. Kinda curious if we just put, like, a few dots of, uh, Nihonium on here, what'll happen. We'll do, we'll do nine, nine pixels. Nine pixels have been applied. So, right off the bat, we get, ooh, oh, the pressure pushed it away! <gasps> I never even considered the fact that that could happen. And now they've hit, like, maximum temperature. Wow. Now that's wacky. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Uh... Jeez. There we go, we'll just put a vacuum here, so that it comes back. Come back! We want to do the experiments! Okay, um, I mean, there's certainly, oh, you know what I could do? I'm, I'm dumb. I'll just say we're close to a planet and just turn, uh, turn gravity on vertical. Great. Okay, now we can test with Nihonium and see what happens. Nine pixels. Have fun. That's more than nine pixels. Oh, okay. Wow. That is, it, it gets moving very quickly, doesn't it? Just random parts of the ship are just exploding from the heat. Like, a part of me thinks, like, oh, it'll just go straight through it. But no, it, uh, it causes so many other problems. <laughs> 
so many other problems. The few pixels right here are at a little bit over a th Oh my god! It caused the gun to explode? It caused the entire drive to explode. And that's just nine pixels. Can one pixel of Nahonium take out this ship? Right, I'm just gonna put it right here. All right, 53 degrees. It's definitely letting heat out. It's it's struggling. It's actually cooling down. On the heat display, you can't really tell anything's going on. Ooh, maybe it can't. Maybe we have to give it a little bit of a kick. Let's give it a little bit of a kick. Get it up to uh, 100 degrees or so, maybe. I am actually having trouble getting its temperature. Oh, there. Oh, wow, it just immediately drops again. So the rest of the ship is doing a really good job of transferring that heat. Huh. I am actually impressed. I, I thought that the Neonium would have a far easier job dealing with this. Okay, it looks like we may be breaking through the limitations here. We're at 115 degrees, 120 degrees. Bring over the heat display. No, it's uh, for once. I'm gonna say it's uh, it's definitely winning. Um, let's try this again in a diff different area. Let's go over to the front of the ship and try this. Grab our Nahonium. Down right here. 30 degrees. 31. Still struggling. I guess it may take two. Okay, I think with two, we're gonna have a runaway reaction. 40 degrees. 41 degrees. Slow though. Holy moly. I guess it is two pixels. Like I can't I can't have two high of hopes for two pixels. But I can manually heat them up as well. But the manual heating doesn't even seem to be doing anything. That's really odd. I don't know why it's uh struggling to heat up so much. I delete everything around them. Huh. Odd. Very odd behavior. Nine is certainly enough, though. It's a whole different game when you have nine Nihonium. I think it's just that these uh, frozen areas are just really capable of cooling things down. Very interesting. All right, guys, we had a little bit of fun, blew things up, tested things, and that's going to be it all for now. That's going to be all for now. I am going to make another programming video, and I will see you all next time. Peace out. Have, have good lives. Fantastic. Hello and welcome! Wait, no, the video just ended. What am I saying? Thank you for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you next time! If you want to learn to code, I did a video on that. You should look at it. It's pretty cool. Paul, great. Thank you. Peace out. Bye. End credits gang. Love you all.